is the great wrestling show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you know, Faust? Isn't it weird to hear it in the background too at the same time? You never, yeah. We don't ever do that because I always put the show together. I played a different song last week to start the show. Oh, did you do our anniversary song or something? No. Hmm. I played uh, Greg's Golden Girls version. <laughs> I was going through my computer. I'm like, oh, I still have this. Fuck it. It hasn't been used in a long time. I'll use yeah, this. Why not? I was oh. looking for his uh, Pina Colada one, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> right. I am back, ladies and gentlemen, back from Chi Town, my town. Chicago, Illinois. Oh, and I had to do a lot of catching up. A lot of catching up because I had to go, oh, well. You're wearing out that thumb. Oh, Faust. Here's the funny thing, too. I'm I'm fucking dead yesterday is when I come home. And I'm like, I'm loopy fucking dead. And I'm sitting on the couch. And all I can think of is because I so I have to fly into San Francisco. And then I have to drive two and a half hours home. So I got to take another flight. Faust, yeah. is what this is. So I'm just like, all right, here we go. And so like my eyes are crossing on the fucking mm. road because I can't sleep on a plane. And uh, so I'm like, I just want to fucking sit on this couch. I'm dying. And I sit on the couch and I wanted to watch SmackDown, but you know, you're just like, I'm not going to take notes and fucking So just put on TV, fucking sit there. Yeah. But I'm like starting to fade out. And I'm like, the only reason I am not going to bed yet is because it is light outside. Hmm. I would have been in bed at four. Mm -hmm. I was so fucking dying. And so at eight o'clock I went to bed, but I did not watch a second of raw last night. I'm like, I will watch it in the fucking morning. Yeah. Um. So I would do all that, and so I got boom, killed everything out, and uh, did that. So, but oh, so I did watch Raw. See, that's how Luke be. I'm, I mean, uh, SmackDown. I did it at four o'clock when I got home, and fucking watched all of SmackDown. Boom, boom, boom. It was done. Two hours easier. All that shit. Yeah. Right. Um. And then I didn't watch Raw after. I was like, that's enough for today. And then I had on football and just you know veg the fuck out. But yeah, I would have been in when it was light for sure. So uh went to bed at eight o'clock, got up today at six o'clock for work, and my work was watching uh <laughs> and then I had to jump on to Rampage, and then I had to jump on collision. Mm. And then now next fast tomorrow. Rampage. I know. Well, that's a real easy one to fast forward. Like you could literally almost fast forward that and write mm -hmm. your note. Um, and then I gotta watch Svenguli tomorrow, Faust, and I'm okay to go. There you go. I'm watching Bigfoot before the show started. Smackdown, Fausty. Season premiere. Oh, my God. I go, oh, shit. We haven't seen wrestling in fucking months. Thank mm -hmm. God. Season premieres here. Cena is in the ring. The greatest of all time. <sighs> and uh, he says, welcome to the season premiere. And Roman's music hits. <laughs> and Cena has the fucking shocked corny face, man. Fucking. Oh my God! I'm like, and then it, and then it's funny because you know they call Cena the greatest of all time, and then Roman comes out with an actual goat on his shirt. Uh, Roman says, "You only showed up because I wasn't here, and you have the <laughs> balls to have these people call you the greatest of all time, the goat." And I'm like, usually Cena says stuff like, "I didn't say to say that, Mister Humble." You know, I don't right. say that shit. Um, it's funny too because you notice Paul, he dyed his hair again. He's clean shaven. You know what? I didn't fucking notice that it was dyed. Oh, yeah. I thought he was oh. growing it out. I thought he, he was growing it white. No, he dyed it again. He was giddy like a schoolgirl. Like he's just staring at Roman the whole way down the aisle. Like, great. <laughs> just in <laughs> awe of Roman's aura. It's fucking hilarious. So good. Uh, Cena sucks him off and goes, No, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I think you're great. You have that belt. Great. Yeah, he goes, I'm here to acknowledge you. Yeah, I go, oh, okay. Yeah, go. And your streak is the greatest of all time, And but I'm not going to challenge you because I haven't earned it. With the earned it shit. <laughs> I can't ha have a title shot I haven't, where everyone else just asked for one. Oh, yeah. I haven't got it. I haven't earned it, but I know someone who has earned it. I go, yeah. <laughs> and LA Knight come out. Um, what is LA Knight that says get bleeped in the beginning, Faust? <sighs> Oh, uh, he gets bleeped. When no, he I don't know. I, I know Cena hands him the, the mic. I tried to go on Twitter to find it, but I couldn't find it because, yeah, the first line, yeah, is bleeped. And I, I wasn't quite sure exactly what he was saying. Yeah, he tells him he sits at home with the title doing shit. Roman says, Oh, you think you're so you because they say your name, 
No, you somebody. <laughs> they fucking recite with you. Okay. There's a cool shot. It's been all over like Twitter and, and Instagram and stuff where you see the close up of LA Knight and then you see Roman in his sunglasses, in LA Knight sunglasses. Yeah. Have you seen that picture? I mean, I saw just them do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they zoomed but in. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people like posting that. This is cool. Then I saw a meme today where <laughs> in in the glasses on one side is uh, Tony <laughs> Khan getting choked out, and the other one is the <laughs> punk. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's great. Oh, man. Um, so Jimmy then shows up, and here's the goofy thing to me as well, Faust. And I'm you, I know you know it. Jimmy jumps in from behind and Cena stands and goes, look out with his hands <laughs> up. Look out. Stola walks toward him to fucking not allow him to be interfered mm -hmm. with. And I'm like, Cena's afraid to fucking get past Solo. Ugh. He stands yeah. there like, yes, sir. I'm like, he's not a fucking old retired fucking mm -hmm. class. You can't do something. Or, you know, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't know what Cena's turned into now. It is odd. It's <laughs> odd. So, yeah, he stands there. He's not allowed to fight. He has to leave it for him, even though it's a jumping from behind. Right. Look out. No. <laughs> My God. Um, Jimmy is then, like, tossed the fuck out uh, by L.A. Knight. And then Roman and Solo leave the ring. And tonight, uh, Knight says, you know, him and Solo, they get a match tonight. Mm -hmm. That's what we get. Faust. Siegfried and Joy, it's time. <laughs> Pretty deadly. <version>. Pretty dreadful. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Alton pretend to be hurt during this still. match, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, first he comes out in the wheelchair still, you, you, yeah. know, you know, standard shoulder gimmick. And then the gay music. Pretty deadly. That whole thing fucking goes on in there with their crop tops or whatever the fuck they have. <laughs> Short shorts, <laughs> thumbs and belt loops. <laughs> That's what I need them to come out in. Holy <laughs> really spirits! I I who not. it is? It's the Nicholas Brothers. <laughs> Just name them the Nicholas Brothers. <laughs> Boss, I might have to write that from now on. The Nicholas <laughs> Brothers. That's what they're really known as. The Nicholas Brothers come out. Um. So and, yeah, Elton pretends that he's injured again, just so the other one can get a sh cheap shot in on on Ridge. Yes, and then Elton rolls them up for the win, and they win. Okay. And uh, run off on the fucking wheelchair again. Yes. Carlito's interviewed in the back fast. Bobby shows up, and then the Prophets jump him from behind. Mm -hmm. Um. After. Yeah, and Bobby's about to hit him with the chair, and then Pierce, Pierce comes in, like, all pissed off. Like, hey, man, like, what the fuck? So LWO attends to Carlito, and then Bailey shows up to like talk shit, and Vega gets in her face. Mm -hmm. So now they're gonna have a match. <laughs> and Pierce goes, "Charles, take these two to the ring. <laughs> I don't, I don't have anything planned for the next segment. Let's have a yeah, match. Right? Nothing's going on. It's perfect." Uh, Roman, with everyone in the back, asking uh, Jimmy what he's fucking doing. He said, "I'm calling Audible." So, "Oh, you're the QB now." He's and this is an odd thing to me because they don't even go into. Like, we're waiting. Yeah, like, fucking, Jimmy's still oh, in the bloodline. We're waiting whole... for him acting weird, and how come you were fucking grabbing the microphone? All that shit. Right. Never does. Yeah, never. Does I anything. went for Roman to say, oh, you didn't, you know, you, you didn't you want Jay to win because you didn't want him to turn into me? You, there's none of that. Um, A lot of Roman holes here. says, get the fucking tag belts off your brother. Um, And he says, yeet. And he goes, don't fucking <laughs> say that shit. That's I like that. He's like, it is good because we get I, it later. It's just like, I don't like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> no more audibles. No more hot routes. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bailey versus Vega. Do you think she got the titties reduced? It seems like it. Bailey? No. Oh, Zelina. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Bailey's are natural. Bailey's, uh, you think Bailey's are natural? I don't. I don't know. I think, I so. think she got titty implants. I don't know. I've never really looked at Zelina's. Hela Pamela Rose. She didn't have that shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, Zelina's were always like, they were like rocks. So mm -hmm. now I think they're a little less. Um, so now Bailey versus Vega. EO distracts, of course. So then she gets fucking Elka bonged for my right. roll up. You know, that's it. Triple H talks in the ring and says, Pierce has 
has had an incredible in-ring career. <laughs> Just not, you know, on TV or near the WWE or anywhere what else. What are you talking about? It, incredible. Didn't Roland, Roman, uh, Roland say he didn't fucking want him? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Remember that? He was like fucking, we had Adam Pierce because he would drive here. <laughs> <laughs> I picked him over you guys because he would drive. 